Oops. Stirring it off with the cord in the way. Oh. You got this. Oh, he's got a cardboard. Yeah. Yeah, see, this was the length of the chain. <laughs> <laughs> a little short? It was too short. Versus, I'm not sure what happened exactly how. Yeah, why it was so much shorter. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Let's see if that stays up while I go get that from him. Well, can you guys even see me? No. We just got back from town. Just Another trip to town. Huh. I had to get uh, a longer chain for the trailer that I'm going to be using tomorrow to haul a bunch of equipment that we are purchasing. And the chain that was on there, one of them was way too short and it wouldn't actually reach from the trailer to the hitch to secure it properly. So I had to go and get an extension in its length. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, I need to put the, um, this up. Yeah, so if you guys remember, what was it like, July? July. Um, we had talked about, we were waiting for, we were waiting to be able to purchase something. And we didn't think it was gonna take this long to be able to purchase the something. <laughs> but finally got a phone call from um, from them saying that they are ready for us to purchase it. And um, I have basically tomorrow, which is Thursday and Friday to get all of that equipment, all the stuff that we're purchasing off of their property and well, I guess moved over here. So I'm using Wilson's trailer. This very nice long trailer because <laughs> there are about uh, 14 items, 14 to 15 items. Yeah, some big, some small that um, that we have to transfer transport. All right. So this one is now long enough, long enough. As you can tell by Nate's attire, it's chilly out. Uh, what you doing, Mr. Buckeye? This is, uh, this is the chain that was on there. And <laughs> <laughs> there's like no slack. I wouldn't be able to turn to the right <laughs> at all, ever. I had to make only left turns. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's chilly. It's getting cold. I feel like the weather just changed like overnight. It pretty much did. It was 80 something degrees. And then the next day it was dropped down to the 50s and then low of like in the 30s. <laughs> it was it's like pretty, pretty. It's like as soon as drastic. storm, as soon as storm Helene passed, mm -hmm. all of a sudden like, it drove out all of the warm weather. Yeah, it definitely brought a cold front. Yeah. Levi's coming to check you out, see what you're up to. He's going to supervise and approve. Yep. There and Winston just wants to be petted. He won't. Yeah. He's just. Winston's just been a big love lately. He has. He's just. I like, mean, he's always a. As soon as, like, if I walk away. <laughs> oh, hi, buddy. Hi. 
Do you approve? Is this better? What do you think of this chain, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, good. Now, there's plenty of room to cross over. Hey, buddy. There wasn't before. <laughs> so today I spent a good portion of the day, um, I wasn't gonna grab it. Oh. A good portion of the day preparing the trailer and checking on things, making sure like all of the wheels were tightened down, all the lug nuts on the wheels, proper inflation, uh, getting stuff cleared off of it that was on it. I still need to do a big old dump run, but um, we went out and bought some ratchet straps. So I should have enough to be able to put a bunch of the equipment on here and strap it down really nicely. Yep. So today was kind of spent just preparing for the big, the big move tomorrow, if you will. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we've got more chains back here. So we got all sorts of good stuff. You two Let's are see, being just the biggest over? love bugs. Just being the biggest loves. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> what is that noise? We don't plan on going anywhere tonight, right? I hope not. Okay. <laughs> we just got home. <laughs> Shenanigans are being very good. Uh, right now. Okay, yeah, right just now. Just currently, <laughs> right now. Just, I'm just in the moment right now. <laughs> they uh, have made a mess of our front rug. Oh my gosh. So yeah, gross. it's just. <laughs> they have a couple places where they like to lay and sleep. One is in front of the RV on that rug that we have, which is an outdoor rug, so it's super easy to spray off, but it still gets disgusting. Oops. And then they also like to sleep kind of in front of the carport area and then to the side of the carport over there where the, where's the carport at? Right there. Uh, where that door is, and they just love to look at themselves in the door. And then they uh, just stick their heads right into the, their wings and go to sleep. I had a pretty boring-ish day at work. It was uh, just two meetings. <laughs> so this chain's a little bit too long, but I learned that if you twist it, tightens it. it tightens it up a little bit. There we go. See that. And now it won't drag. It up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was surprised you got it three full feet. Because I knew that you could do that. Mm -hmm. I, I would rather go long and have than have to go back because I'm like a link short or something. <laughs> All the Buckeyes. I've had a lot of people reaching out wanting chickens lately. I think I've had like five or six people reach out in the last two or three days. Oh, really? Yeah. It's kind of interesting. They're just finding the page now and or other people are recommending us which is great yeah that is great let's see where is this best gonna go somebody wanted some buckeyes and i was like sorry i don't have any buckeyes actually two people requested buckeyes that was the first time i'd gotten them as a request so i said i'd have some more in the spring when i decide to start hatching out babies again but not doing any hatching until uh -oh. much much later Oh, it must be a. Uh, oh, there it is, right there. Oh wow, it's. I, I think it just did it get one of Zonas. Zona, where are your babies at? Whoa. Okay, got two, two roosters fighting. Where's your babies? Where's your babies? <clears throat> Where are they at, Zona? Where's your babies? Hmm. That's not good. Where's your babies? 
Are they hiding? I hear them. Oh, there they are, they're hiding. Okay. Good mama. She had them all tucked in there. Are they all still there? Looks like it. All right. All clear? Nobody got taken? What? Anybody get taken or any? I don't think so. We've got two roosters that are fighting in there because they all went to hide in the same spot. And yeah, that was crazy. We've had a lot of falcon activity. I think that's what I mentioned in the last video was it was in that tree and that's where we, that really weedy kind of area where it's longer, it's where we like to feed the chicks so that they have, you know, some areas that they can still hide and they have all that brush and stuff to get under. But the falcons have been very brazen lately, which is not good. I'm guessing it's the turn in the weather, but we've seen several of them lately uh, going after either Zona's and Zona's chicks, which is crazy because here's Karen and all her chicks up on the mound there. Yeah. And she's always out in plain sight and a couple of those are sold. So I don't want to lose <laughs> any of those ones. Uh-huh. We'll have to figure out where they sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, so that I can catch a couple. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Nice. Yeah, I was pumping up the tires on the trailer and the tires are large and this is a small uh, air compressor and so it kept having, kept running out. So I just drug the Blue Eddy over nice. to keep it running and pumping and work great. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get the doggies in frame too because they were cute. They got sticks. Goofy boys. Yeah. Hey, there's there's falcons for you guys to watch out for. Yeah, like. <laughs> get off the Come sticks. Come on, Kinsley. Stay over here. Kinsley All right. may. Uh, I'm going to put this away. Um, <laughs> I guess I can put this away to, later. <laughs> Where's their food dishes at? Um, they are over there. Okay. By the cedar. By this big old cedar tree. They're, they're making them. You guys are flattening out my my pile. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I gotta pick two of those that I'm pretty sure are females, which I think it looks to me like the majority are female. It looks like I see for sure three males. But How can you tell the males? Um, typically with, because of our mixes, the males have the big combs mm -hmm. on top early on. Mm -hmm. Um, that's my, that's usually the best indicator. It's not a surefire way to tell, but with these breeds, it has been pretty significant. Their combs get big pretty quick and they start to get the little waddles underneath. And the majority of these, like that one up there to me looks like a female. Mm -hmm. uh, she has none of the underneath waddles yeah. and she doesn't have any comb. Right. And a lot of the older ones that you notice that are our breeds, our mixed breeds with these same ones, the females have very sleek, slender heads, mm -hmm. even as adults yeah. when they're laying and they don't have hardly any comb whatsoever and they don't have any of the waddles. Like she has a pretty big comb for a female, Karen. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, the mama. The mama. But most of them are not hers, if not all of them are not hers. Yeah. So um, they typically, they typically don't have all of that just from what I've noticed. And I'll have to look at the feathers too, because at this age, you should be able to tell by the growth out of the feathers oh, okay. as well. So I just, I'm gonna have to catch a couple and then I'll look at those two things to determine which ones my best guess are females. And that's what I told her. I said, it is my 100% best guess. Yeah. Because with mixed breeds, it's so hard to tell sometimes, even at this age. They're having so much fun in this they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a little bit warm too, as they're going down. Probably. Probably feels good. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we didn't record yesterday. Um, we meant to. Yeah, we took the. We went into. We had to go into town. Shocker. Shocker. And we brought the camera with us, but then we didn't. We forgot to record. <laughs> um, before, yeah, before it was like we were almost home, but then by the time we got home and unloaded everything, it was dark, and we both were just like, okay. Yeah, so we, so yesterday I didn't work on the house at all. Today I didn't work on the house at all. I did some recording for whoa, whoa, some. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
<laughs> All right, well, there's that. They were coming in hot. <laughs> Yeah, we so all just stopped. <laughs> did recording for a promotional Blue Eddy item yesterday, so that video will be coming out at some point on the Kramer Life. And then, like I said today, I just spent working on the tractor, the tractor, good lord, the trailer. Oops, no um, potatoes. Oh wow. Um, so tomorrow I'll be spending moving the equipment and probably the same on Friday. I was trying to dig in here a little bit more. And I found seven yesterday. And then little there, tiny guys? Yeah, just little tiny itty bitty ones. Because I know a lot of y'all were like, use the pitchfork and go deeper. This is like rock hard clay. <laughs> yeah, the stuff that, that we're digging through is just all of the soil that we put on top. Yeah. Um, this is not raised bed quality. No, this was, this was compost. Most of it was compost that we bought from a local company and then just mounded the potatoes, mm -hmm. but underneath this is, yeah, it's, 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 it's solid. Like I can't even get a pitchfork down into it. No. Like standing on it with both of my... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's solid. So until we have, oh, until I get the rototiller fixed and we can break this up a little bit more, yeah. it's just, it's just solid, so. No bueno. No bueno. I wonder what the, uh, what the falcon got, if anything. I don't think it had anything. I didn't see anything in its feet, okay. but, um, ah. Sticker bush. The the Spooky. falcons have been a lot more act have been a lot more active. Yeah. Lately. That's what I was so. saying. I was thinking maybe it was a change in weather all of a sudden. Yeah, they're stocking up to. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're squirreling things away for. For the cold weather. Eating what they can. Yeah. yeah. Getting fat, fattening up. It should be easier to find rabbits and to find things like since a lot of the leaves are down now, mm -hmm. they should have better sight, but maybe that's the problem is now they're seeing all of the chickens. Yeah. We've got a lot of babies out right now. I try to Lots give them like little, like that cage is open, has food and water in it so they can run in there if they want to. Um, we have two little babies up here. We had three, but I'm pretty sure one got taken. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what Kinsley's getting. I don't know. Just Kins butt. Just gonna turn. I'm just gonna turn away. And You're just gonna ignore it. Not really. Kinsley, would you come here? <laughs> what you doing, silly girl? So I wouldn't be surprised if the falcons got the, those little ones that we showed a couple videos yep. ago. Um, they kind of hang out a little bit with these ones, but not enough no. to wear. And then there's a whole bunch of roosters that are hanging out in there, but that's only because I didn't feed anyone, any of the free rangers today. I'm like, there's tons of bugs, tons of ticks, tons of things for y'all to eat. That's what I kept saying. And Stop then, feeding them. They just have plenty of, <laughs> let them forage. Yep. <laughs> I almost did a trash run today. Almost. But yeah. There was another errand I needed to do before that, so. I'll do a trash one later. No, leave them. Oh, stash of eggs. Yeah, there's there's a stash right here. Oh boy. They're old. And oh then I discovered some over here after I moved the trailer. Okay. Yeah, and there's probably something under there. Under there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, all it's right. just a I'll have to like get we to take this to the convenience center, all of the the cardboard. And then there's just a bunch of there's nothing throwaway. Wrong with that tarp is there? No, it's just to be okay. folded up and moved. Okay. Cleaned off and folded and moved. And I don't know what to do with these you these buckets. You can take buckets. them to the convenience center. The ones oh, okay. that had paint. There's this drop-off area for them. Oh, okay. Um, it's along by the shed, over yeah. by hit. It'd be, I mean, it'd be nice to know how to like make them usable here, because instead of having to buy, but I don't know if that's even. I don't know. I'm sure I don't know. You could use them for other things. Yeah, yeah. Non-food or non-animal related. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. So that's the haps, yo. That's we yeah. took a day off and not much has changed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
You're so fluffy there, Zona. Look at all those chicks underneath you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can't, you can't fit them all <laughs> underneath you anymore. <laughs> She's so little. She's not a very big chicken anyway. No. I don't know how Karen, like I see her and she has 13 and there's like, oh, she just found a disgusting egg, didn't she? Kinsley, you're a gross dog. <laughs> the look on Nate's face. Was that so good? I don't want kisses. Thank you, though. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. We and will, with that. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Oh, man.